The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Who New Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. I'm a big fish, a small pond, got my days free and the nights long. I create my own reality. Who I am is fine with me. As famous as I want to be. Who I am is fine with me. To who I am. We want to welcome you to What's the Story with Maria. We meet here every week at um, 9 p.m. every Tuesday. Suzanne Murray is watching us. Hi, Sergeant Sue. She's in Florida yes. right now. So my, Richard. Oh, my Richard Skipper. Of course, Richard, you should be watching. <laughs> Hello, Richard. How are you? We talked in length this week, Richard and I had many conversations. And that's Zito, Ed Kutu from Blade Salon in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Bill Goffey, he was here today. Bill Goffey oh, did Bill. my headshots. You know Bill? Yeah. Uh, he did my headshots, and they actually came out gorgeous. So I'll post those this week, and you can... Mm-hmm. Bill is gun for hire if you need headshots. Joy um, McNaughton, she's from Massachusetts, a great singer. Hey, Joy, how are you? How are you, Annette? Um, okay, so we have people popping on, and we want to welcome them on. Every week we have our, I call them our regulars and irregulars. They come on every week, and sometimes they talk to each other. And uh, sometimes they listen to the show. But um, we just appreciate that you're here. Uh, I, I wish you were here, too. Oh, how to, wait, wait. You want to know how to play poker, oh, Richard? I love you. I wish I knew how to play. Oh, because you want to go to Yaniv's house. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I know. Cause you need, I saw that. <laughs> All right. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to let you know that. Um, I'll do this at the top of the hour. This not only is on Facebook Live, it also goes through Armed Radio, which is armeddigitalmedia.com if you're on your computer, Armed Radio Global, also on your computer, Mm -hmm. and if you have a TuneIn app on your phone, let's say you're at the gym right now, you just uh, find Armed Radio, and there it is, and you'll find our show, What's the Story with Maria, it's running live. Kenny Holcomb is in Nashville, hi Kenny, Jeannie Craigie, she's in Massachusetts, hi Jeannie. I love your sunflower picture. She posted these beautiful sunflower pictures this week. Um, Rob Hoffman. Hi, uh, Bob Hoffman. Bob. Hi, Bob. You know, I Bob. know Bob. Leo, Leo <laughs> Rodriguez. Leo is my friend who did, does all our promo stuff. Runs the, uh, our Instagram. By the way, please follow What's the Story with Maria on Instagram. And also, Leo um, has got us now on YouTube. So if you want to watch uh, past episodes... Carolyn! Just go to Carolyn Montgomery. We love Carolyn we Montgomery. We love Carolyn. Do you know Carolyn Montgomery? Uh-uh. You guys would get along great. Um, so if you want to go to YouTube, type in What's the Story with Maria. <laughs> All um, We have most of our shows are up there, thanks to Leo. So that's Leo. Okay, so uh, Jerry Teller has joined us. Also a great singer there. I think we should... Start the ball rolling. Okay, so I have two wonderful, wonderful, wonderful singers tonight. I am privileged to be hanging out with them. I have Ann Kittredge and uh, Yaniv Zarif, and I got it right. Because yes, I never have said your last name, Yaniv. You're just Yaniv to me, and you're the only Yaniv I know. I know she got it. So I was like, this has got to be right. You got it right. And I love it. Well I done. love it. Uh, Isabella Raskowski is joined. That's my cousin Marisa. She hijacks her daughter's Facebook page, and there ah. she is. So right. she comes on every week. All right, so uh, two wonderful singers that are, are doing great things and uh, things that are coming up soon. And I was glad to get you before, because I know you have a show coming up next. Is it next week? No, the 24th. September. 24th. Okay, yeah. so we have some time to get tickets. And Yaniv, you're going to be leaving town soon, right? Yeah, in about three more weeks. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. In and out. In and out. That's all right, but this is the nature <laughs> of this business, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so Anne, why don't we start with you? Okay. Um, the, the, let's uh, the name of your show. Tell us, tell us what we would be okay. looking for and where All it is. Right. So we, uh, with Alex Rybeck and Andrea Magavici, I we put together a show of Lynn Aaron's and Stephen Flaherty I music. I know you know too. right. The Quack Time, Once on This Island. My favorite musical my favorite of all time. Year. You too. My favorite year. I was in this oh, time. my favorite year. Yeah. Yes, and they um, did that. Oh, they yeah. did. They did wow. my favorite year. Ooh, good ones. And Lucky I, Stiff, right? Yeah. Lucky yep. Stiff. 
Um, and um, and Susicle. It's like the yeah. biggest oh, right. high school. It's wow. one of the most done what, high school Just like shows. a really authentic pop sound. It's really, really great. Well, but it's know, also heartstring stuff. Yeah. And, that's, re- and that's why we were attracted to it because they were contemporary. Uh, yeah. And yeah. Andrea, when, when we decided to work together, Andrea's like, I want to do something that we're, I'm going to learn too. Uh, and so she said, let's, you know, so we, that's how we, uh, we started. Well, I love it. And, it. and it caught my eye right away. And um, what time is the show? Where is the show? Tell us about that. So it's at 54 Below. We were invited back. We Ooh, premiered it, um, uh, back in May. And they invited us. And that back. is not an easy room to fill, be- and it's not. That's a, you've done quite a, f- a, a great thing there. If they've asked you back, that's a big. Deal. Well, can I tell you that at, when they did that, like I, start, I started crying. I was so excited. Uh, I was like, oh my gosh, we're being invited back. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> so, deal. Yeah, it's so that was deal. really great. And then, um, and it's on September twenty fourth. It's a Tuesday, and okay. it's at seven p.m. And then we were invited to do. We're doing it out in L.A. Also, oh wow. really? In uh, November. In oh November. wow! So you know, any L.A. watchers? Well, when you do sure. do the L.A. show, post it on my page, on oh. my Facebook page, and I'll put it on What's the Story. With oh, Grant. great! I yeah, all right. We have. Yeah. A Are you going to be in L.A.? No, the fifty-four. Oh, one. That yay! Great. Yeah, and I've seen some clips. It's just wonderful. You're wonderful. Okay. Yaniv, tell people what you are, what you have coming up. Uh, so I also recently embarked at Fifty Four Below just last year, which kind of um, set up my solo show, which I've been touring with for the past year. It's called Music Beyond Language, and it tells the story of my life as a polyglot. And so, what tell us what a polyglot is? Uh, a polyglot <laughs> is <laughs> one who speaks many languages. Oh, okay. Language is a very big passion. Because I know the Italians in Boston are like, "What the hell is that? Something we should eat? What's yeah. a polyglot?" <laughs> in Italian, it would be polyglotto. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Michael uh, Harper has joined us. Okay, Carol, I'll see you on the twenty fourth, and she's oh, thank you. Got tickets sold already. Yay. Look at that. <laughs> Eddie Valles has joined us. Hi, Eddie. Okay, so go ahead, polyglot. Um, so yeah, so every song is in a different language, and every song sets up the story of how really? I learn each individual language and how it became a part of my life and it's really unique and it's really interesting and I made sure to make the stories really interesting as well because it's got such wonderful moments in the show there's a song in American Sign Language there's a German Yodel there's uh, Georgia on my mind in Japanese there's an Italian aria there's just something for everyone and I made it so that it can be enjoyed by any audience anywhere wow. and there's even a section in the show where I go into the audience and I challenge anyone to have a conversation with me no matter where they're from and it's fun because they can either try to stump me or I can just look really smart <laughs> which is wow. just always so it's that fun. part is interactive go ahead yeah, do, you, yeah. do you do you speak Polish yeah it's one of my it's one of the, it's one of the 32 so the 32 okay. is the gimmick <laughs> of the show is that the man of 32 languages I'm fluent in six and conversational in 32 um, we were just talking that we're both half Polish. Yes. Uh, well, that yes. I mean, yeah. I didn't know that, but uh, telepathically yeah. brought the them together. Yeah. Now <laughs> that's the theme. The theme of the show is half Polish. That's yeah. it. We want to uh, just let me go back. We had some new people pop on. I want Welcome, to acknowledge guys. them. Yeah. There's so Joe Savino who is the big cheese at Arms Radio. We want to give Joe oh, hey, a big Joe. shout out. Hey, He's Joe. great. He's the reason I'm doing this. So thanks, Joe. Um, okay, Michael Harper, my friend um, Eddie Valles. We have Jenny Bacall, who is an amazing singer and um, dancer and teacher at the school that I teach at in Morristown, uh, the uh, Mayo Performing Arts Center. Jenny's amazing. Jacqueline Marie, she is my musical director's daughter, but she's also the, the she's a doctor, and she is the official doctor of What's a Story with Maria. She was oh, on the show, great. our health and wellness show. Whoa. She's going to be back on, so she's uh, staying healthy as a performer. And um, Chris DiPiro, he is one of my great friends. We... Uh, have made some film. We just made a film that actually got accepted to a film festival. Oh my God. I know it's great. It's called the No Matter What Club, and it's going to be um, in LA uh, October 11th and a film festival, and then it's coming back here November 3rd, and it'll be I think it's at the Quad. Wow, wow, so it's wow, going to be wow, cool. Wow. Yeah, Chris DiPiero, yeah. and he's going to be on the show cool. in a few weeks. An amazing guy. He's got his own show called Live from Jersey. That's usually Wednesday nights. Uh, it's great. Like it's a Jersey. great show. It's a radio show. Yeah. So okay. So, Yaniv, 32 languages. Yeah, so the, the show is called Music Beyond Language, and uh, it's been touring internationally with 
major cruise lines such as Princess, Viking, Hall of America, and in just a few weeks I'm going to be joining with Royal Caribbean. Wow. Um, it's got, uh, the position is called a guest entertainer where they fly you to the ships and then you do your show and then you get to come home and still be based out of New York. And oh. Just kind of, oh my god! So I get to travel for work which is really exciting and, and I also I just recently just accepted an offer with the Las Vegas Tenors. Um, I went to Las Vegas for the summer and uh, they are one of Royal Caribbean's biggest acts so they're booked like all the time with Royal and that's why I'm going to be making my Royal debut so I'm going to be busy with them as well as wow. well as doing my solo show so but I'm looking forward to a busy I'm year. really wow. interested I mean wow. this really caught my ear the, that you're not you don't have to be on the ship for two weeks you're able to you fly oh, to yeah. different places sometimes it's wow. four days I've never heard that know, wow like in and out that's what happens when you're a celebrity, Anna. Yeah, Apparently. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I know he's here with us now, yeah. but he's kind of a... Um, I come back to the U.S. I mean, I'm a celebrity, but... I mean, he's not too much of an overachiever. 32 <laughs> languages, and they fly him in. And they, I mean, thank God I wore a good shirt tonight, because I really felt underdressed. Well, you know, I think we're the thorn between the rows. Right? No, oh, no, 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 no,
this is my first directorial with her, okay. where it's really from beginning to end, choosing the material, um, going through the whole process with her, and then eventually even helping her stage it, right? And and helping her with her patter and oh, holding her hand straight through to the design elements and the lighting and yep. even being there to be yes. there as a guest with her. No, this was the this was the full nine yards directing job. Okay. Um, and um, now I, I know that, you, I mean, you've been performing for, uh, uh, that I know of in the city for 30 years now, right? Oh, yes, definitely. Um, I came, I actually started performing in 1975, wow. I was at Reno Sweeney until 1978, and then I left the city for a while, and I came back in 1987 to the Algonquin, yeah. where I sang for 25 straight years. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Oh my I know. I had a record. You know what, I, uh, uh, Andrea, just a show-off. You're a total show-off right now. I can't believe it. How, how am I supposed to bounce back after all this? I know. I'm just Boy. a show Show off, but you're a show off down at the duplex. Yeah, come well, on. you know, yes, yes. I'm a hoofer. I'm a hoofer. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, come on. We've we both had extraordinary I know. runs. I so. know. That's You've true. got a lot to point to, too. I was reading all of your credits. They're not exactly chopped liver. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> Listen, I got to tell you, Richard Skipper says that you, nobody, in the words of Richard Skipper, nobody interprets a lyric like Andrea. True. So well, that's what you know. I have a very extensive acting background, and when I uh, when I approach a song, I'm always approaching it from the acting point of view, yep. and that is one of the things I share with Anne, and well, that's why it makes her show so extraordinarily <laughs> special because she's an extremely wonderful actress. Yep, and and a beautiful singer, and I really appreciate that you took the time to call in tonight and share. Mm -hmm share your uh, input with us and we're looking forward to seeing the show and we've got the oh, promo it's such a it. wonderful show and it really highlights her acting ability because she goes from character to character to character to character with such ease and grace and it's fun, it's sensational it really is oh well uh, thank you and and we are very excited and we're very excited to have her on the show and I really appreciate you taking the time from your uh Queendom, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, oh, I know that's true. I'm you know. working in the garden as we speak. <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you, sweetheart, and uh, good luck with everything this year, and I hope we run into each other. Oh, I hope so, too. I'll, I'll be in New York for the cabaret convention. Okay. Yes. That's coming yes. up soon, As right? always. Yeah. Yeah, and, and when is um, October 26th? And then Anne right? is bringing her show out here. I heard. On November 12th, and then I'll be here for her to, to um, cheer her on and uh, and probably do a duet with her. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look out. Look out, yeah. girls. Oh, Look yeah. out, Callie. Okay, yeah. Andrea, thank you so much, sweetheart, and have a great rest of the night. Oh, you're so welcome. Have a great show, Anne. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. She's in California. Just she's in California. Oh. She's three hours behind us. Oh, so. so it's nice and light there. No wonder she's in her garden. I thought, yeah. if you're in your garden in New York right now, it's pitch dark, and Andrea, get the hell out of the garden. <laughs> who, who has a garden? It's not going to be good. <laughs> it's really fun. It's like, People wow. are going to wonder, Andrea. I know she's a queen, but that's pretty ambitious to be, hey, you know, these over. this is the overachiever show. I've realized now, the theme is not just half Polish. It's also... <laughs> The Overachiever Show. The Overachievers. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, now let's do the promo uh, thing. Oh, you want to do the promo? Yeah, okay, let's yes. do it. Okay, okay. so I'm going well, to hold it up, and you're yes. going to tell people what so, they... So, if you want to get 20% off, just type in the promo code, Fancy Meeting You in blue, with it's just the letter U. So, it's Fancy Meeting, and then the letter U, all in caps, and you'll get 20% off just for watching the show. Wow. Ooh. Amazing. Okay. And that is, again, September 24th, Tuesday night, 
7 p.m. at 54 Below. And Thank 54 you. Below is located? Oh, uh, on West 54th Street. Do you know the address? 250, maybe? 254? Like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, between, it's 50. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll like see it. Know. Look it up. That's it. That's what we have. Just look it up. Look it up. No, but I know it's 54th between, Street. Between Broadway and 8th. Yeah, Broadway and 8th. Right there in the thick of all of the... The great stuff happening, and yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. really amazing space. So and many fans, Maria. Look at I that. know. Look, look at you. So, uh, look at I know, and uh, people are. Dominic Pupa has joined us. Dominic Pupa is my friend. I'm going to have to say that because if I don't say <laughs> he's my friend, he's going to get upset. But he's a comedian, but he is also always starting trouble on Facebook. So pay no attention if he says anything. David Slauson has joined us. Hi, David. David is all the way out in the. In the middle of the country, and he's a oh. sweetheart. Oh. Rena Cunyali Berger, she's my cousin, my amazing cousin in Massachusetts. Uh, Rena, did you know that Anne is also from Massachusetts? She went to uh, school in Fitchburg. I right? went. I went to. I was twelve years Catholic high school. I, uh, uh, wait, I went to Catholic school. <laughs> really? Oh my you, gosh! I know this you. I know. Weird. Not you. What? No, <laughs> I, 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 we know that. Be okay. Yeah, that's yeah. why we're the thorns between the rows. Okay, you. you got it. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. Two Catholics and a Jew <laughs> walking to a bar. Two of them are Two poles. Catholic poles. No, 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 no. An Italian. 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 Yes. Lot, there's a lot happening here. Going on. Yes. Janet Betta has joined us. She's in Connecticut. Let me see. Um, who else? Dominic, Josephine, Josephine Sanchez. Hey, oh my goodness, Josephine. great singer. Do you know Josephine Yaniv? No, nope, I do not. Oh, you should look up Josephine. Would, her her voice blow oh, your mind. Sanchez. Sanchez. It's okay. like S A N G E S. Okay. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Michael Dion. Michael Dion is a friend of mine, also a singer, amazing guy. Um, all right, who else? George Hernandez. He's in Miami. Hi, George. Uh, he's a doctor of psychology. <laughs> the I mean, the, the, oh, he's changing the address. The, oh, the address. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Uh, 254 West 54th Street. You were right, Yaniv. You were dead on. Oh. Another A in class, Yaniv, for you. That's a collection I, I, of thousands I, I, I now. I said the address. You did. You oh, did. did I? Yeah, you had it right. Oh, and that's Zito. Who, did, does she have a she friend? Was, she was on the show a couple of times. Because I have a friend, a really good friend, Chuck Zito. Any is, relation? In, in the Bronx? No. Annette, do you know Chuck? He's from Fen Pennsylvania. You never know, these Zitos. He Zitos it was also, I know, they'll pop on all night. They're, Unbelievable. There's a lot of people that will come on. And uh, Okay, fine. He put the, the ticket information. Leo, thank you. Leo Rodriguez. I love to roll my R's there with it Leo. Says, it, should be, it should say November 12th. He says November 11th there. So. November 11th. No, it's November 12th, Leo. Leo, get your act together. <laughs> He's... So Better close. Is that. Yeah, he's a he's a California. I didn't even guy, know so. it was up actually. I didn't know the link was up for Vitello's yet. So thank you, Leo. Okay. I didn't know. I guess I can start marketing it. I love it. Yeah. So there are lots of great things happening now. Yaniv, I want to get back to you now. How uh, the first I, I saw of your show was that you posted it on Facebook and you were on a ship at the time and you were opening a show. Oh wow, and you remember that? Of course, yeah, I remember. I follow sweet. people and I remember things. Yeah. People that I love, not That's everybody. So sweet. But um. I remember thinking, wow, like he's such a young guy. How has he accomplished this so quickly? So, Yaniv, were, uh, I mean, tell me how this even came to be. Um, it, was it, it start off as just a review? What, what happened? Were you sitting in your house and uh, a bolt of lightning hit you? Well, you know, it's definitely been a process. I've been creating this show for many years, and it's come with a lot of, <laughs> uh, it's come with a lot of understanding that some people need to create their own success. I and, couldn't agree more. You know, when I was having a hard time here in New York, bouncing back and forth with the theater industry and the cruise ship industry, I I was really getting uh, down on, on what I was going to do with my life and why I wasn't getting to where I wanted to be. So, you know, somebody very wise said to me, like, we have to be responsible for our own destinies and we have to create our own success. So Absolutely. I said, I need to create something that I can sell and something that I can do on my own. Maybe I have a hard time listening to people and that's why I can only do things on my own. I don't think that's When's it, your birthday, Yaniv? June 26th. I'm a Cancer. Oh, okay. Because I was going to oh. say if you're a Gemini. Because you're... Because yeah. I'm a Gemini, and we're like that a little no, bit. No, it's not an attitude thing. I just no, I don't mean don't an attitude. I, I can't hear things sometimes. I know, I hear say. you. It's like, but creating uh, a lot of Geminis I know, and we we talked earlier, you're a Sag, which I love. Yeah, uh, Sag is a great sign, but uh, Gemini's. people in this city, there are certain types of people that just... Uh, we just create all the time. They're creating. That's like my favorite kind of person. Yeah. Because so it's not saying I don't. What I get from <clears throat> what you're saying is not that you have an attitude or you can't work with others. It's saying 
I, I have all this energy coming through me. I know certain things. I and rather than sit at home and wait for that phone to ring, right. or I, I have a lot to say, and I'm going to do it. And I think people like you are so inspiring. Oh, thank you. Really and beautiful. And I'm so glad that you're you're someone that does let your voice be heard. Well, you know. Thank you. So t- uh, tell yeah. me how it came to be. I, 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 mean, I, I think another way to put it is that like maybe I just don't fit everywhere. It's not that I. You know what? Right. Good. Yeah. I, Good for you. Yes. So it's hard yes. for it's hard to place me in in certain groups and in certain um, stories. So I had to create my own story, which is I'm really proud of it, and I can't believe that it's an actual dream that came true. It started as a dream, and it started as a, a concept. And um, when I was when I wasn't getting the attention that I was hoping for, some you know these agents were telling me we need something that's unique and something that's special. And I would talk to my to my friends and my my co-producers and I'd say what is something that I can offer that's special and they mm. said hello your language is right. and I said really you think that's interesting isn't and that funny like, that you didn't think that was interesting yeah I didn't think it's it so was so funny that we don't always see the beauty in ourselves but yeah. someone else that's why you need good people around you yeah it, you it know? Was, I'm really grateful for those people that helped me craft this show and um, you know with a little help of creativity and and, and hard work and persistence um, and you know, making good investments in your work. You know, right. I hired the best photographers and the best videographers. Shout out to Shady Theatrics who okay. did my videos, which got me my agent in London, wow. uh, who books me um, around the world with this show. Amazing. And you know, like it's investment, it's persistence, and it's hard work and creativity. And, and I'm really, really happy that this has come to fruition. But you know what? I'm going to take a minute and just remind our listeners that it is not always about fitting in that works for people it's about what is different about you right. like you just said what's that special thing versus trying to be part of like when I first moved to New York I didn't I knew what the Boston scene was like and I knew how to navigate that but just all I was trying to do was fit in fit in fit in yeah. and I kind of like compressed myself down and uh it was the opposite of what people wanted right. from me right. and it, it takes a while to learn that so you mm-hmm. really you know it took me years. I know. You're young to have learned that. Already. That's, That's what I'm right. saying, right? right? A lot of That's trial right. and error. A lot that of trial great. and error. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Thank you. Wow. And Anne, you started, did you start performing as a young person as well? Yeah. Well, I was, yes. I was, um, I went to Carnegie Mellon. That's where I met my husband. Amazing. And, Amazing yes. school. Yes. And Is your husband a singer? He's not. He he got his master's in directing. Good for him. Um, Good for you. And yeah. for the longest time, I wouldn't I wouldn't step out of my house for an audition without him. While he has really? such a good eye, and oh, he's nice. he reads a script. I mean, you know, some people like I for me to read a script and to really really understand it, at least three readings. My husband gets it done in one. I, like I cannot believe what he ext- extracts in one reading. It's that's incredible. Cool. I guess that's his gift. It right? is his gift, but but he actually is not directing. He he's. He didn't like the the um, the not no you know it's it's even harder for directors and actors than actors yeah the work where does the work come right. from right yeah. so he's found his his passion in the producing side he works Wonderful. for the Schubert organization so great um, and he really really loves it there but yeah so well, I um, bet his directing eye helps him to find oh. pieces to produce oh yes I mean, I mean that's really everything yeah Eugenia Mesa has joined us that's my honey across the Hudson oh. River right now I, I will see you soon. Um, uh, who else? Oh, Michael. Oh, no, Michael has jumped back on Michael Dion. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. So, uh, I, I worked professionally until I had my second child and then I just couldn't figure out how to do it. I just couldn't figure out how to be a, it's, it's a lot. I just couldn't figure it out. So I became an education advocate and stayed home and stayed with the kids and then, just you know, two and a half years ago, I never had done cabaret before. I'd oh, always really? Been stage and TV and stuff. But oh wow! Uh, and you know, I, honest to goodness, the truth, I thought it was a good place to find out if I could do it again. I that's was like, a great, you know, it's under really, your control. You yeah. can create it. Um, and mm. so that's what I did. And good Michael Barberi has joined us. Andy Prasky, and this yeah. is Mandar Chick Magnet. <laughs> he is our regular, and every time Mandar, if you go on his Facebook wall, he is flanked by gorgeous women. I don't know how he does wow. it. Wow. Yep. Uh, Mandar, Anne is married. She was just talking about her, <laughs> so don't think about it. But he is a great guy. He will post lots of great stuff for us as Excellent. well. Mandar. So um, I, what you just said is absolutely true. I think Cabaret is a wonderful place to, to have this, this, this captive audience 
usually it's between 70 and 100, which is a perfect size to yeah. work stuff out <laughs> with, try, try new things. Be personal with. Yes. Right. And connect. Yep. Connect to oh, your yes. people and connect to yourself. Susan Perry Tatarski. Susan and I went to high school together and did theater in Massachusetts. Uh, and Susie's an amazing person. So, hi, Susan. Um, so I do think that, that that's a great place to do it. But now it, it wasn't just a, an experiment. It took off. People, it did. Right? It did. And it was like, I, oh, I can't even tell you how grateful I was. We got, um, our, my first show was dreadful. It was, a, <laughs> don't, don't tell mama. I was doing Irish limericks. I mean, seriously. Oh, it so was, we're not going to talk it about it. I didn't so bring it up. Did you know? She brought it up. Eventually, um, I don't know if you know who Richard J. Alexander is. Do you know sure, Richard? sure. So, he, and for those who don't know, he, he directs. Barbara Streisand. Right, my concerts. girlfriend knows because she's a Barbara Streisand gigantic. And friend. Kristen Chenna with concerts. Well, he saw some of my stuff on YouTube, and he got in touch with me. Wow! And he said, "I want to help you. I want to direct your next show." Oh my God! So How he cool directed that? me for Excuse my me. debut. I'm, I know. I'm I know. Telling you, I'm really I know. Again, I'm telling you. I wore my good shirt because <laughs> otherwise, I'm, I'm famous through Richard. So he directed my 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 debut at Fifty Four Below. And uh, and we ended up getting the a Mac Award for um, best debut. Unbelievable! Wow. I know. Fantastic. So and then I get to work with Andrea. So I've been. I'm telling you, like I, who is in her lucky. garden as we speak? Uh, very fortunate. Well, probably Barbara Streisand is in her garden. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's another common denominator: gardens. I have a song on my show called Garden. You do. Oh, I do. go to see her, and you'll you get to hear gardens. Yeah. I'm telling you. All right, what is Richard saying now? Uh, okay, oh yeah, he put in the... Uh, oh, Richard. he put his name in. All right, now, Yaniv, so how did you get to bring the show? So you finished it. You ran it by a few friends? Who did you run oh, it by? Oh my gosh, I put it on its feet multiple times before I could really get it to where it was. And, you know, the first time it started, it didn't even start as a language show. Really? And, yeah, and, you know, I would get feedback on it, and then I would send it out to all these uh, international agents that I can, because in this industry, mm. there's really only, like, five to seven agencies that these cruise ships <laughs> want to book from, because there's so many of these guest entertainers, and they don't right. want to put their hands in too many pots. Right. So I would send it to these five to seven agencies, and... And um, I would get some feedback from them, like, we have too many male vocalists, or, you know, we don't really need this. And, right. and I was like, well, i got to be something that's more than a male vocalist. So right. So I eventually came up with the language theme, and then... Uh, Which is was, genius, because on these cruise ships, people are from all over the world. Yes, exactly. So it is bringing people together. Exactly. Which and is you how, can't which go is how wrong. I learned. It's the common Probably. denominator. Or, or, I right? have a confession to make. Oh, yeah. no. Uh, when I knew you were going to be on this, yeah. I checked you out on YouTube. Oh, goodness gracious. You know, my guests do that all the time. <laughs> I had to. I love and, it. And I, and I couldn't stop watching. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, he's really you talented. Are really good. Oh, and Yeah, he so really is. Yeah. <laughs> and the really funny are. thing is, though, if you walk away, like if you're listening to it and you walk away, you don't... You don't say, oh, that voice is a, a nice Jewish boy. You think <laughs> that voice... Just his sense of humor. And, oh, but this, I, this, I, this, like, soulful... <clears throat> you, you're like, you sound like a, like something from Dreamgirls. Uh, One of the girls... In, I'm like, <laughs> Russ you're Wooly. so soulful. <laughs> I'm like, Russ. So much. who's Russ? Russ Woolley. Hi, Russ Woolley. How <laughs> are you? <laughs> Michael Sawyer is here. Hi, Michael. Johnny Tomorrow. Uh, great actor. He's going to be doing the um, the Dion story, the story of Dion, um, and playing Ooh. Dion's dad. Yeah, that's coming soon. To uh, Celine Dion? No, no I'm sorry, uh, Dion, Dion the singer, Dion and the oh, 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 okay, oh, okay, yeah. yes, oh, wow. No, okay. not the greatest singer in all the world. Johnny will not be in that. She's, I, I don't know, she's lost her mind a little bit though lately. I don't know. <laughs> don't she, we all? I know. Eventually, that's when <laughs> Greg Scott has joined us. So um, anyway. So that you put it together, you, you workshopped it, you yes, ran it by and, people. Um, and then I, I had this one reel that I thought was it. I was like, this is it. And I still was not getting to where it needed to be. And then finally, I think it was like the third or fourth time I did it in public with a full band, was at 54 Below. And really? And one of the most... Another, another common theme here? Yeah. yeah, it was just one of the most um, incredible nights of my life. The audience was electric. And the energy was so palpable, and it was just like the best performance I could have given, I felt, because every joke landed, and everything came together so well, mm -hmm. and, and the video footage, you know, I hired great photographers to, send, yeah. to make sure that I can promote the show as best right. as possible, and to tell 
the story to show how unique this show is and that I'm not a male vocalist. I'm somebody else with who's got a really special show. Mm-hmm. And I'm really happy that I did that. Now, also, the 54 Below thing, the yeah. element of that, that's not just on your everyday <laughs> place to perform. Like, Patti LuPone has performed there. Yeah. Um, Barbara Chris, Cook, I saw Barbara Cook there. Norm Lewis. My fa- Norm Lewis, yeah. who we love. <laughs> we love. Oh, we love Norm Lewis. Barbara, right. Big, big, big yeah. names performed. Actually, Chita Rivera was uh, in my dressing Chita room. Chita Rivera, not? Yes. Are you kidding me? She was on an hour before me, so we had to share a dressing room. No. And I, I came backstage and met her. We, we spoke in Spanish. It was the You're, coolest night ever. You are so slick, right? <laughs> I didn't He's so cool. slick. He's talking to one of my people, uh, to Richard Koch and Dutch, just showing off <laughs> left and right. They spoke to Chita Rivera in Spanish. Oh, my God. <laughs> the theme of the night. I yeah. love it. I love it. Connor Weiss has joined us. Hi, Connor. How are you? Um, so Annette is screaming from the Bronx, Cheetah. Cheetah! Cheetah! How can you not love Cheetah Rivera? I used to work at uh, for Joe <laughs> Allen at the restaurants there uh, many years mm-hmm. ago. And... Uh, we, you always got celebrities night after night after night. So you got used to it. It was still like a big deal. But the most amazing person I ever waited on was Cheetah Rivera. She's really? so lovely. Oh, really? yeah. And down to earth and kind that you almost want to cry. Like Sounds like accessible, too. Oh, so <laughs> accessible. Like she's the kind of person that... You give her the check and she'll uh, give me your hand and she'll be like, "Thank you, honey." Oh, she'll hold your hand. You're like, "Oh my, oh my god!" god. Oh. She, but she's just a beautiful person. <laughs> yeah, that's so and look at she's still going. Is she yeah. in her seventies? Yeah. She's coming back to fifty four below. Is she? Yeah. When? Uh, soon, either, right? Either now or soon. Yeah. Oh, she knows. She, you know what? It's this. I think it's the same week I'm doing my show. Yeah. I think so. that is the I week of is. all weeks. Then I think it is. And Kitchen and, and Cheetah. Cheetah. Yeah. Maybe you'll be sharing the dressing room area as well. Yeah. Oh, oh, you wow, never know. Yeah. That's incredible. I think I'd faint. <laughs> and she's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to just take a moment for us to breathe, and I'm going to we're going to go into our the part of our show called Go Ahead, Keep Eating. We have to do this together. Ready? This part is called. Go ahead, keep, keep eating. eating. I love it. I love what my guests do. <laughs> All right, and I have these refined guests tonight. They're still going. Okay, so what did I make? I asked Anna if she had any allergies, restrictions. Uh, preferences as I do all my guests. She was like, no, whatever. And Yaniv said, um, I don't eat pork and I don't eat shellfish. I said, no problem. No one so far has said they don't like chicken. So we made a delicious chicken. Ooh. Now, right, now Yaniv, because of your show and all the, the different, I really went for like a... It's worldly. Yes, exactly. So what I did was, I'm going to have to read it because I wrote it down as I was putting stuff in. I'm one of these crazy like chefs that keeps adding things. Yeah. And sometimes if I don't write it, to, yes, please. Thank you. Do you want me to hold this? Yes, please. She's going to be our beautiful model. And so what is that? This I made, so this is chicken. And what I did was I put a roasted red pepper and eggplant puree. Ooh. Puree that down with garlic, use sesame oil, poppy seeds, and scallions. And then I sauteed the red peppers, and it's over couscous, whole wheat couscous. Oh, there's also cumin in there. I forgot to write the cumin. Yes. Yes, who doesn't love cumin? Yeah, <laughs> All right, thank you, there. and exactly what I'm going I for, because I, I know you have that Israel connection, so yeah. I threw that cumin in for you. Oh, nice. And these are our beautiful scallions. Thank you, and for modeling our plate. Ooh. It's not every day you have a... Carol Merrill. Right, that that ages me, but yes, Carol Merrill. I love it. Who doesn't love Carol Merrill? <laughs> okay, now, our salad here is red. I, I love a good salad. Yes. Ooh, Anybody that knows me knows I love a good salad, and I think it saved my life, as because I have eaten a lot of junk in my life, but I think the salads have countered it. <laughs> so this is red leaf lettuce. I have some red cabbage in there, red onions, uh, baby cucumbers, um, celery, and dill. Can you smell the dill? Smell that dill. I can. Oh, my yes. God, I love it. I love dill. Isn't that just the best? The best. We're going to get to eat this. Oh, we're going to eat this afterwards. And I'm going to, what am I going to use for a dressing? I'm making a dressing with a fig, a vinegar, a fig infused vinegar. Ooh. Delicious, of course, because they're going back to that Middle Eastern thing. I'm going, Yanni, this is for you. These are some special flavors. Yes, because of all the show and all your your different countries. Look how many likes you get, Maria. You are so popular. Well, the food is popular, trust me. I'm pretty sure. (laughs) And then uh, extra virgin olive oil, of course, a little salt and pepper. And that's it. Bang. Now, what are we having for dessert? Um, also, uh, we have these are called Napoleon Jojos. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I'm, going the French, I'm going with as many different countries as I can. So, uh, Trader Joe's, which is my favorite store, has these Same. great... It's called Jojos instead of Oreos. They're um, vegan. They're re- they are vegan. My nieces told oh, me really? that. Thank you for reminding me. Because yep. my nieces are vegan. 
I don't get it. I don't know where we went wrong, but they are <laughs> vegan. Um, but my sister always says, that, where, where did I go wrong? Really? I know that's, but they're funny. They go, hey, that's creative. So, um, and this is strawberry cream inside. So, it's, that's the Napoleon part of it, okay? Mm. So, Napoleon, Napoleon Jojo's going, keeping with the Amiv's, um international theme. Yeah. All right, so now, um, okay, so I want to talk about growing up. Because this show is about creative people, and I always say, uh, I love doing this because not only do I love promoting my friends, do I, I love talking to other creative people. Because no one gets a creative like another creative. And sometimes we're misunderstood out there in the world because people will say, oh, you, you, you do what? Um, well, do you like, you know, is that, is there any money in it? All, people oh, yeah. have their opinions, and that's fine. They're entitled to them. But we were talking earlier about singing and how we all got the same look on our faces. That just pure joy. Like we love, I love to sing. It's my favorite thing to do. I could do it seven days a week and still want to do it yeah. on the eighth day. It's yeah. just, right? And, and, and you, I, I, you know, I, I've been around you and you are just pouring this energy, is pouring out of you. And I've seen you on YouTube and all that. I've never heard you sing live, which I look forward to. But what, did you start off as a young girl loving to sing? Were you a shy girl? Were you, did singing bring you out? Tell me the story you know, of that. I was, <clears throat> I was really, I was, I was a paradox even when I was young. I was really shy about singing. Okay. And my mother used to bring me to the choir. So I used to sing in the choir. In Catholic school? In Catholic school. I know. Well, me too. Folk group. And uh, in middle school, the nuns were inviting me to be part of the chorus. And I said no, because I was, I really wanted them to ask me harder. <laughs> I love that. Okay. I did. I wanted them to ask me harder, and they didn't, so I didn't. And I then... love that. <laughs> she was holding out. Sure Even with the it. nuns. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, hey listen, 23 and me, you never know. I'm telling and you. Then, yeah, and then um, finally senior year in high school it was when I finally broke out and, you know, played the lead. And then... What, and what, what was the show? Camelot. Oh, Beautiful. Yes. In Camelot. Camelot. Yes. Oh, I love um, it. Great but one. then, you know, this is, uh, can we go a little bit uh, not funny? Um, of course. So when I was a sophomore in college, my father died suddenly. And with him, he took my voice. Tell me what you mean by So that. when I was in school wow. and I'm taking solfege and I'm taking voice lessons, I couldn't do any of it. I literally could not sing because wow. my father had been such, he was oh, such boy. my, the wind, you know, he was the wind, wind in my yourself, wings. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember um, at the very end of that, that semester, um, it was finals and wow. I literally couldn't sing. And I just, I got up and I got in front of the jury and I just said, grade me. And I went and sat down, and when I got my report card, they gave me an A. Wow. And, I, it, and this is Carnegie Mellon. I mean, this is a place that is really tough on people, but yeah. they knew. They knew I, what and, you could do. And because... What you had done. And I swear to you, because of that time frame of where I couldn't sing, that I no longer could, and then seeing that compassion, right. that unexpected compassion but well um, deserved it brought my voice back and, oh, but it became mine and so it that was is an incredible beautiful. it was a it was a i will never forget that time in my life wow. it was that weird. is beautiful <laughs> it was weird i'm sorry you ever had to go through that you know where yeah. you thought you were yeah, losing but, yourself your voice especially you know well it, like you talked about the wind in someone's sails and i always I, I i totally believe that my mom was the same way my mom was my biggest fan and uh, she used to sit in different parts of the audience during the show. She would move around. <laughs> My dad wouldn't go to the show with her. He's like, I'm not, I don't know what the hell you're doing. But she would sit in different parts and she would say, that's my daughter. She yeah. was so proud. And, you know, it's like when you have someone like that in your corner, it, it, of course you have that fuel. So having someone taken away so young... That would be very. That w I I get it, but you, what they saw obviously was your how authentic and in and real you were. It was just that honesty of saying I can't. You know I, th I mean that's like thank you for sharing that story because yeah. that's yeah, a that's a delicate thing to talk about. You know and but look at look at now, what you can share and what you can. And uh, well, I mean, I was able to. It became then mine. It wasn't as much as I was doing it right because, for someone else, right? And so you know, in yeah. some weird way, yeah. You have, I mean, I I know now. I'm I'm going into very delicate territory, but <laughs> I I'm coming from a place of my own. I hear my mother's voice all the time, 
like I have conversations with her in my head all the time. Do you ever hear your dad's voice? Oh my you gosh! Oh yeah! Oh my god! I mean, I look like him. So you, oh, I look okay. in the mirror, and it's like every day. Yep. It's like, yep. Hi, Dad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's. I'm telling He's you, but wonderful. I'm a big believer in the in uh, uh, connecting to the other side and how close people are, and and that just let it. You know, like we are vessels, as singers especially. I mean, I always say we are wind chimes, and God is the wind. And if it's not God that you believe in, then let it be something else from somewhere else. Whatever it is that you believe in, let those wind chimes go. And and I, when you're, you're connected to someone like that, you know that's what we do as singers. So I mean, I'm just, thank you for for being yeah, honest you. and telling that that well, you story. Said you a growing up story. I yeah, I loved it. I, I, you know, <laughs> and, and Yaniv, you uh, you were like one of these young boys that sang beautifully, and everybody wanted you in their show. I mean, let's. That's be what honest. I'm. That's my fantasy of Yaniv. Let's be honest. I was just a big ham. I'm uh, still a big it. ham, and uh, I just made sure that I was. It was known whenever I was in a room. It was known whenever there was any music around that I was going to come in and have everyone look at me. I love oh, that. Really? So I, <laughs> I love that. So uh, I really don't. How old were you when you started singing? I don't remember a time where I wasn't. Singing, okay, to be I love that. Yep. Honest with you. Um, and when did you have the time when you were learning those thirty-two well, languages? <laughs> oh, that was nothing. <laughs> nothing. You know, you yeah, need that's nothing. All of that happened by accident. Oh. Is Michael so. Polisi has joined us. He's an amazing piano <laughs> player, and musical director. Oh, Michael hey, Polisi, how are you, my love? Um, this is Yaniv uh, and Anne. You should know them both. They're great people, and he's a great. Is he here in New York? He's in New Jersey right now, but he does have a place in New York and a place in New Jersey. Uh, Robbie Nelson has joined us. Ian Telford, he's in England. Robbie, I don't know where you are right now, but um, I shut you out. Um, okay, but because there are lots of great England, people. It's late. I know. Yeah. I know, unless he's in the States, but I don't think he is. But you know, he's one of these dirty stay outs, you know, these cute little <laughs> Englishmen that stay up all night. Lovely. And, uh, um, so now, okay, we are, we got about 10 minutes left to our show. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so what do we want to tell people? Yanni, where can people find your show? What's what's it called? Um, and where can they find it? Because you're going to be all over the world. But yeah. maybe people, our listeners are... Because this show goes to 66 countries. <laughs> yeah, that's and across, right. So people, and across the country, this country, so people will be listening... Uh, that don't know us, and they're they may be looking. They may be on the same ship that you're going to be on. Right. So the show is called Music Beyond Language, and um, you can go to my website www.yanibzarif.com. I love that name. <laughs> I know you. it's Why great. It's so sexy. I practiced it too. Before you did. I, I did. Yeah. I want to make sure <laughs> I said it right. <laughs> so it's y a n i v z a r i f. Okay. That's my well, name, dot com. If you another know. language you notice he just I threw know, in. He's doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is usually what I see at the two books. Two beers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the extent of my silence. Two beers, please. And, yeah. um, Check. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the next date is going to be in Bermuda, which I'm very excited about. Oh, wow. um, and then we're going to be in down in Ushuaia, South America. Where? Ushuaia? Like I've never even heard of Ushuaia. It's the most southern city, populated city in the world. Really? It's the closest port to Antarctica. Oh, my God. So we go from there to Antarctica. Uh, on the ship that's again my solo show and then I go back with the Las Vegas tenors so I'm bouncing back and forth between my now the Las Vegas tenors are they just in Las Vegas or do they no they're also on cruise ships what yeah and they just fly and go back and forth yeah it's fly on fly off kind of deal you know we go to a different we're a different (laughs) venue every time we do it which is really really cool Uh, different audience different staff different uh, itinerary and it's really really kind of keeps you on your toes it's a lot of traveling but it's great and I get to be based here in New York and I don't have to leave my beautiful friends I love that and I still get to come into the duplex on right. Mondays and Thursdays whenever I'm you know I'm not and, and he does yeah that <laughs> blows everybody away and like I said if you you know you look at you and you're like what a nice <laughs> he's a gentleman he's a nice man and then you hear him saying you're like where that wow. black girl come from <laughs> I mean really that's what it is you're like what <laughs> I mean, his voice is so soulful, and he's got a really... You like have your, a soulful voice, too. Yes, well, you do, thank you. Yeah. I'm more like a, a, in that alto soulful Very, place. Yeah, but, but you simple. don't expect the sound to come out of this boy. Mm-hmm. And it's really, like, just this well, amazing That had sound. a lot to do with tr- people trying to figure out where to put me in life. And, uh, uh, you know, it's probably... People were so confused by Well, me that's... Do you know who um, uh, Marty Thomas is? Yes, I love okay. Marty Thomas. So Marty Thomas, and you would love Marty Thomas, is another one of, the, I would put you and Marty in that same category, is that you have this, you're, you're these beautiful boys that have these soulful riffs and just this thing that comes out of nowhere. 
And um, but exactly, where do you put that? Sometimes he's you don't a great know. Singer. Yeah, he's, he's a, a great, great singer. Great singer. Um, but you know, it's that it, it exactly. It's like where do you find so? But you made your own place, and yeah, that's what to. counts. I had to. I had, had no to. choice. Yeah. And how? What's your audience size usually at a um, ship? So the biggest ship that I've got is about six thousand passenger ship, but. Yeah. The theaters hold about like twenty five hundred. That's huge! Yeah. Oh uh, my god! <laughs> Look at he goes like this. That's twenty five hundred. Like big deal. But then I've been on some, uh, you know, like very luxurious cruise. Excuse me, oh, like luxurious cruise lines, like Viking and and uh, and like Crystal and those. They hold about uh, like sometimes four hundred in the theater. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's okay, a but nice you know thing. there is an adjustment from doing a cabaret act right. for seventy to one hundred people, and then to that's do a I concert mean. for yeah. four hundred to twenty five hundred. And what's right? great about it is that this show can fit in a cabaret setting, mm-hmm. and it can also be a production show, wow. which I made sure to make sure it worked in any venue. You know, just so I could be great. as marketable as possible. Mm-hmm. And then there's different variations of the show when the crowd is younger or when the crowd is more international. Wow. I can narrate it in. A show of ex- like non-exclusive. I, I feel like speaking. I should go back to school. <laughs> after this. I'm Look, tired listening. To I know. It's called I need to sell myself, and so I did everything. Listen, I could. good for you. Yeah, good, you. It's true. If, you know, the thing is, sometimes like I, I tell, I tell myself like people are going to ask questions, have an answer, Look, yeah. whatever it is. Like if someone's like, well, I don't really want that. Can you? Have an, have an answer. answer. We'll yeah. adjust. Have an answer. Yeah. We'll adjust. Whatever you, what you want it, me to do, the show in Dutch. I'm you know what? I say Dutch. more than anything in my life every day. What do you need? Yeah. What do you need? That's I mean, exactly this, the, if I were to have anything tattooed on me, it would be, what, what do, you do you need? need? <laughs> yeah. Cause that's yeah. what I say more than any other statement in my life. Yeah. Because in, especially in this business or anywhere, in teaching as well, even in the restaurant business, what do you need? Yeah. And I've been in a lot of situations <laughs> like that in my life where I've had to come through. And I think those experiences have helped kind of mold uh, what I've been able to create with this show. So you know, I'm very grateful for those people that have challenged me in that in that sense and it's really important that people can do that well thank you honey for telling us all about this and and i thank very you. much is there ever going to be a place in new york that we can come see you so you know like and 54 has invited me back but I just, right. I just don't have any more friends to invite so i'm scared no one would show up. then you have to hire richard skipper to help you, you um, publicity well no, we, got, we got a marketing but right? Also, the thing is, once you know people get to, because people know you, Yaniv, but you, because you are so young and you, you know, you're just kind of sort of starting out. You know, even though you started out shot out of that cannon, <laughs> right in, into the, this huge world. But as people get to know your name more, and they get to see what you right. do, then right. they'll say, "Oh, that you know, it catches yeah, maybe fire." One day, yep. God willing, you know, I'll I'll be able to feel confident in just putting myself out there in New York again and hope that I can fill seats and stuff. And right. I mean, we had a great turnout last year, but I was marketing as much. As yeah, no, it's possible. a lot. It's hard. It's we, hard filled yeah. that, we filled that room and I was so grateful for that. It was just such really a good really is. And and you've both been to 54 Below. So, and what, because I, I heard Yaniv's experience with What is it that about that room that, that, that you love? Or well, what's been your experience with that room? So, interestingly, we actually built the show knowing it was going to be at 54 okay. Below. Okay. So, so and customized we, it. And we actually used the entire space. Wow. Yeah. And uh, and to, to be honest with you, I mean, actually, there are there are some really great venues in New York, actually. I oh, mean, I, I, my, yeah. very, my, my starter, with my, my, my very first show was at Don't Tell Mama, and I'd go back there in a flash anytime. Yeah. It, there's just a lot of a, great rooms. It's got such much character and stuff like that, and Lori Beachman. And, I but love the 50, Lori Beachman. The the thing about 54 Below is um, uh, they do actually do some marketing, which a lot of the other yes. places don't. Yeah. And they do they do some marketing. But also, I, I do have to say, and I, I'm sure you would agree, um, from top to bottom, the way they care yes. for their artists. That I was going to say exactly yeah. I'm telling okay. you yep. is I, I, I'm a great checking experience. It, checking in on checking like, ticket in. sales. Yes. So and kind. sending you press uh, press yes. release emails so and you can KJ uh, I mean you know KJ Adrian Carnani was marketed you know what I mean wow yeah, great this is good to know because I don't people. know too much about that side of I know that the, the people that they get there are amazing yeah and they're, well they're uh, very good to everyone and also it's very <laughs> photographable like <laughs> yes what any picture I've seen the crown molding is on the top yeah, it's yeah. beautiful I mean the art direction is beautiful mm-hmm. so that I think mean, that's really a big deal too um all right, let me see. Jimmy, how much time do we have? You got a minute. Got a minute. A minute. Oh, oh my goodness. Nice. Okay. Uh, we want to thank Jim Bell. He's our producer and engineer and wonderful guy. He's out in New Hampshire. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy will be back. He's back with us. He's been 
He's done every I'm single sorry, show with us. Got more than a minute. You got about four minutes. Oh, all right. We got four minutes. Great. Well, I'm not going to thank you then, Jimmy. I take it back. <laughs> all right. I'll take it back. All right. All right. Um, but anyway, so this is Armed Radio. So my the name of my show, if you're just tuning in, uh, is um, What's the Story with Maria? I am Maria. And um, we're here every Tuesday night. Now, if you can't make it Tuesdays at 9, don't panic. I save the video and you can re-watch it. I, I post it on a bunch of different uh, sites. Uh, and also, you can listen to it in podcasts, which is really great. Even if you've watched the show, it's really cool to listen to it. You can listen to it on iHeartRadio, Spotify, or Spreaker within like six hours. Jimmy usually gets it done like within 12 hours, and you can our show will be up there, and you can listen to it. Stop and start whenever you want. Listen to it as many times nice. as you want. It's really great. And then we're on gonna, uh, our show's on YouTube now, so uh, Leo's been doing that. Thank you, Leo Rodriguez. <laughs> Has been. I love doing that. I don't know. I do it by myself sometimes in the supermarket. I don't know. In the shower. In the shower. Always in the shower. Um, anyway, so he's. Uh, our shows are on YouTube now, up to I think seventy-five or eighty, uh, a little at a time. So you can go back and watch them. Uh, now, do you have a rich something that you do before every show? That you do you have something that you like? Are you someone that gets nervous right before you go on? Or well, you know, uh, I'm. Born and bred Catholic, and I'm now a Buddhist, so I oh, chant. Wow, wow. I actually oh, chant that's beautiful. My shows. <laughs> Sounds great. No, no, me all ring a kill. Oh my gosh, yes! Wow. I, see, you might speak there to me. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you got me there. No, me all wow. You, she, you speak I, Sanskrit Chinese. I had a. Fr- <laughs> There you go. I had a friend many, many, many moons ago that was a, a Buddhist and she used to chant every day. Yeah. What's up, Jimmy? Now you got a minute. Now, you got a minute. now we got a minute. Okay, so, uh, but anyway, that's why you learned to do that. I find it very relaxing. Oh, uh, very relaxing. It's centering. And uh, Yaniv, I, you do, is there something that you do that... Um, I pray. I, you know, I, I definitely pray. I, uh, and I get very nervous before shows, but something happens, like, as soon as you walk on a stage, yeah. you're, you're just at home. Yes, and, like, I agree. nerves kind of dissipate, and it's really, it's really interesting how that dynamic works. You know, just coming on stage just kind of melts everything away. I know. So we want to thank you, the audience, for helping us melt our fears away. Giving us something to do uh, in the world that you appreciate and love. And we love Mm -hmm. and appreciate you. Yes. We want to thank you. And we will see you next week, 9 p.m. Eastern. I want to thank Ann Kittredge and Yaniv Zarif. Thank you. I love that name. (laughs) We'll see you soon. We love and appreciate you. We're going to go eat now. Yes. Bye.